This is from the U.S. Secret Service. This is a post they did two weeks oh, ago wow. where they had the uh, a Pride Month special with those in the force. And you can watch this and listen to them opine about how hard it is to be in the Secret Service and paid what they are and um, be a part of the LGBTQ community. It, guys, this is when this is what your focus is, you know there's something wrong. Mm. Um, and, and no one wants this. No one, this is a, like, look, 1,300 1, uh, views on their particular video. No one actually wants this. They just want you to do your job, do your competent job, and you know defend the president. And they almost got the the, the president killed, in my opinion. I mean, the, the the rank. If you look, listen to some of the analysis from Dan Bongino and also um, uh, some private um, military contractors. That one that Patrick Bet David interviewed. You can hear them poke the holes in exactly what was done versus how it was used to used to be done by the secret service and under the reagan years it's disgusting they can't holster their weapon they 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 can't they're not getting the president off stage who cares if he wants to fist pump do your job get him off there get him out and and you got to protect him but they kept him on on the target and one of them was even ducking for cover behind the president mm. <laughs> shocking you couldn't make you couldn't make this stuff up. It just it makes me disgusted. And the average American isn't into this sort of thing. I mean, the average Australian isn't into this thing. No. These DEI is pushed by a minority of very vocal and well placed, powerful people, mm. and it's allowed by cowards. So it's pushed by true believers and cynics it's allowed by cowards who know that the whole thing is a lot of rubbish but don't have the courage to just say excuse me uh, this is not going to lead to our organization whether it's a military a police force a secret service a corp being more effective it's going to lead to it being less effective and, you, oh, sorry i was, I was just, just going to say just a slight pivot yeah. do you want to finish your, your well, yeah, i was just going to say again it just leads back to language the reason people don't want to stand up is you, you'll be called a bigot Mm. And you don't want to be a bigot. You don't want to be, you know, um, transphobic or mm. or anything like that. So they, they use that language to make people afraid. And then they use that language to affect your, your income, your family, your businesses. Um, and so less and less people want to stand up and speak against it, even though they don't agree. Because I, I speak to a lot of people um, daily through my business you know, and they feel that way, but they just, they don't want to speak mm. about it because, you know, as we've seen numerous times, you say something on social media um, and your employer sees it and they don't agree, mm. now you're in trouble. Or even if they agree, but they can't support it mm. publicly, well, they're going to have to reprimand you and do something about it. Apologies, you No, that's right. I was just going to say, look, Melania Trump has just walked in. I, I won't, um, I, I think there might be another speech not for... Maybe she is walking for Trump. I don't I don't know, but I'm happy to feel a little bit more until Trump comes on. That's Vance. We are going to still talk about Vance. We haven't even had a chance. To, the people are wondering, who the hell is this guy? That's Melania. No, what's his, yeah, that's Melania. So she literally just walked in, guys, and obviously the media do what they usually do and be like, oh, where's Trump? Where's this and that? His wife's abandoned him and, you know, bastards. Anyway, I'm going to mute this now because I don't know what music well, they're going to play. So I'd like to uh, say something. Um, oh, please. Which is... Um, there is a lot of confidence in the Republican Party and Trump supporters all around the world right now. The betting mm. markets are saying he's the odds-on favourite to win. Mm. Uh, that's the biggest threat we've got, overconfidence, mm. putting down our guard. We've got to pretend we're behind at all times. Now, the, the, the Democrat... And I'll, 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 I'll tell you what worries me. We've all known Biden's a mess, you know, for three years, OK? But even before... The debate was this time three weeks ago. Now, even before the debate... The polling, on average, had Trump ahead by one or two points, mm. despite Joe Biden being the complete physical and mental messes and policy mess. But he's only, why wasn't he ahead by 25 points? OK. And now, in the post-debate post, post uh, debate, and now the post-attempted assassination environment, um, the polling is still quite tight. Now, it's moved up about two or three points since the attempted assassination. You've still got you've still got about 43% of Americans. If they get a phone call tonight, just in spite of everything, they will say, "Who will you vote for, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, out there in Kansas?" And 43% and, and of them saying, "Joe Biden, Joe Biden." Now that tells me that's their base. Mm. They've got a for the worst candidate in the history of politics. You've still got a big chunk saying they get a vote from. So now, what happens then if you have a half decent candidate? Well, they you know, okay. It means we've got. We've got an extremely polarised America. You know, when Ronald Reagan was shot, quite similar to this, in early 1981, 
his polls overnight went up 20 points. Mm. OK, now we're seeing a very similar situation, but we're only seeing a very small increase in his support. So this election is not over. And, uh, you know, sometimes when things look really good in politics, that's just, a ba- that's just before they start looking bad. Mm. OK, so it's like John Howard won this big victory in 2004. He's fourth on the trot. Everyone thought he can't be stopped. Well, then he got, went and got his... His, his, his ass kicked for three years later. Mm. This can often happen. Can I, can I just say, I do think that they've... What's undeniable, undeniable, is whether this shooting was intentional or not, or it was a deep state thing or not, which I don't think the jury's in. You know, I think the yep. jury's still out. I do think that the Democrats have 100% gone into a different gear now. And they're like, OK, we're not effing around. Mm. We have to get Biden to step down. So he obviously, last week, he had Clooney who was his chief funder, stopped backing him. Obama was becoming more and more vocal, whereas previously he said we need unity and all the leadership against him. So they've...